Previously on Jace's Adventure. Oh, Loki. What did they do to you? Andrew. I hope you're enjoying the show. Just fine until a horse that was stolen from Jace's farm a few nights ago shows up in the Bronx. Oh, Loki. Is that? Couldn't be. I'll get a call to JC just in case. Dr. Collins thinks he's seen Loki out by his cattle farm. John, look over there. That's him in the field. Easy boy. No one is going to hurt you, you know you can trust me. Jonathan, hurry. You're not going to believe this. I think we are going to need some extra help and definitely won't be able to secure him tonight. He's just not coming to you. Yeah. We know where they are now and the direction they are heading. Give it another go in the morning. I'll skip lessons tomorrow and give you a hand. Andrew should be free too. I'll see if Lillian can help too. I'll go see if she's ready. Morning, JC. Are you ready to head off and get Loki back along with his friend? Do you think we're doing the right thing here? If they are actually wild, shouldn't we just leave them out there to live their lives? Well, yes, I suppose so. But I still think we should at least get them here and vetted. Then we can go from there. We especially need to check on Loki's wounds from the bear to make sure they are healing properly with no infection. He's been through a lot. I brought us some fresh sausage for breakfast on the go. Wonderful. Thanks, Lillian. So John says this is an Appaloosa of sorts that's running around with Loki? Yeah. We didn't see it up close, but from a distance, definitely an Appy, and she is gorgeous. Curious. There was a lady that had an Appy dome from our ranch that went missing quite a while back. She's passed since and the farm sold, but I'd know the horse if I seen it. Miss Davis down at Sun Tree Farms? Yeah, do you remember her? I hadn't been over there, but remember you talking about her. Did she have any other horses? Could Loki been hers as well? It's possible. She would take in horses and rehab them. I went to school with Miss Davis. She was such a lovely lady. Her children never wanted anything to do with the farm and sold it shortly after her passing. Let's everyone be safe and keep an eye out for that bear. Thanks for the reminder. I wonder if it's still around here. I don't think I've heard that anyone has seen it. Hopefully Loki didn't injure it too badly. <laughs> Look there. That sure looks like Miss Davis's horse with him. If they are someone's horses, we definitely need to get them back and find out. What's the plan? We could herd them in the direction, I suppose. Let me see if I can get him to come to me first. I think if we can control him, she will follow. Sounds like a good idea. We will follow your lead and if they take off we will try to jump in and herd them back. Come on Loki. Let's go home boy. Easy boy. You can trust me. Hey you, come a little closer. That a boy Loki. Let's get your halter on. Well done, JC. Well, would you look at that? All right, Loki and Miss Loki. Let's go home. Andrew, do you have any way of contacting anyone from Sentry to see why they are loose and if Loki is also theirs? I can ask around for a contact. 
I know the kids sold the place not long ago. I think I can help with that. Thank you. Lillian, do you think you could help me work with these two? Of course. You know I'm happy to help you. Thank you everyone. Meet back here tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning. Morning. Good morning, JC. How did they do last night? They created a bit of a ruckus kicking the stall a few times, but I think that was expected. Where's Andrew? We didn't have many leads by phone so he went down to Santry for answers before coming here. Shouldn't be long. He left before I did. Speak of the devil! Morning! Any luck at Santry? Um, yes about that. Let's go get these two in the pen first. I'm sure they are a bit anxious. So I told you how Miss Davis kids didn't want anything to do with the farm. Well, not just the farm, but every animal she had on it as well. Well, the kids decided to sell the farm but wanted to include all the animals with it. When the buyers didn't want all the animals, this caused issues for Miss Smith's kids. They didn't want to deal with all these animals. The buyers helped find someone to take the chickens, pigs, and goats, but they couldn't find anyone for the three horses. Three horses? So we are still missing one? Well the new owner, Miss Stones, stated there was a black horse, an appy, and a draft. The draft was apparently used working the fields and retired when Miss Davis retired. He was still young and had a lot of work left in him, so how did they end up out here? That's the bad part. Since the kids didn't want to take the time to find a home for these three horses, they apparently let them loose to fame for themselves. Those poor horses. Well they seem to have managed all right for how long they were out there. Do we know anything of the draft that was with them? Actually, seems Miss Stones found him injured not long ago waiting at their barn in the rain. They called Dr. Collins who didn't know at the time that Loki and this other horse was a part of it. And what of the draft now? Well, it seems he won them over and they decided to keep him. They've named him Frank. Are they wanting Loki and the mare back? JC, they want to meet you. They also want us to bring Loki and the mare both up to Sand Tree. So I'm losing Loki? They are taking him back? He won't settle unless the mare is here with him. You saw that. That's the good news. Jane Stones wants you to keep them if they are happy here with you. She just wants to reunite them. It seems Frank took a run in with the bear about the same time we found Loki. I think the bear came at them all and separated them. Sorry to impose. I'm Jane. I actually decided to bring Frank here. I think it would be less stressful than hauling Loki and the mare to me right now with everything they've been through. It's so good to meet you. I'm JC, this is Jonathan and Lillian. Of course you've met Andrew. A pleasure to meet you all. <laughs> Let's let him out shall we? Jane, if you're okay with it, I'd like for us to bring them together often. Brilliant! I've not met anyone since I've moved here. So that sounds like a perfect start to a new friendship. I would love that. <laughs> 